Another family moved out downstairs. You know what that means. Let the scavenging begin. Oh, man. You know the only thing we have in the fridge? No, what? Brussels sprouts. Disgusting, nasty, tasteless Brussels sprouts. You know, that's not really fair. Brussels sprouts can be really good when cooked correctly. Says you. Mark, mm. what's the most important part of being broke? If it's edible, find a way to eat it. And are Brussels sprouts edible? Barely. Then we should find a way to eat them? Yes. Okay. All right, folks, we're making Brussels sprouts. Odds are you have a bag of these sitting in the back of the freezer, collecting ice, never to see the light of day. Which is a shame because they're so delicious if cooked correctly. Which doesn't mean boiling them into an unrecognizable mess. Just get a little olive oil, salt and pepper, and you're good to go. We're also gonna need a plastic sandwich bag. Thanks, Julio. We've trained him so well. Mm -hmm. Man, go fuck yourselves. So, first step, just drop everything into the plastic bag. Now add three spoonfuls of oil. And salt and pepper to taste, which means a lot. James. Which means a moderate amount which won't overwhelm the flavor of the vegetable. Mm-hmm. Jerk. And now, for the fun part. Time to shake it up! Still single, uh, ladies. That was my mating dance. All right, with the sprouts good and shaken, pour them onto a baking sheet. Otherwise known as the rack from your toaster oven, covered in foil. Mm-hmm. Pour, 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 pour. Mm-hmm. Spread them out a little bit. Now, we're gonna set the oven to 400 degrees and wait for 45 minutes. 45 minutes? That's a pretty long wait. Yep. Which is why editing power activates. But we're a broke eat. So we're gonna take a moment here while we're waiting for those Brussels sprouts to cook mm -hmm. and give you some master tips on making them as delicious as possible. Right, so James, go ahead. Tell well, us what this giant cleaver is for. Fun? Well, yes, so, obviously. The Brussels sprouts that we just made in this week's episode, we did whole, which means that we just put some oil and sh uh, salt and pepper on the outside and just kind of baked it up. Right. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. But if you're feeling a little more ambitious, there's some things you can do to make it even better. Right. First, you can chop it in half. That's, that's not how, that's not really. So as you can see, um, I now have half a Brussels sprout. That's more three quarters. Once you have a half of a Brussels sprout, really go seven, ahead eight. and chop some more. Mark's going to suggest some things you could do to spice these up Five, while six. I continue preparing. So something else you can do to make this super delicious is work in a little bit of... I missed. You Keep going. Work in a little bit of bacon into the recipe. The most obvious way is take some bacon, wrap the Brussels sprouts up in it, and bake that up for about, let's say, 40 to 45 minutes. Super delicious. The bacon grease adds a nice flavor to the Brussels sprouts, and it all comes together in this crunchy, salty blend of delicious awesomenessness. Uh, I'm not sure what that was, but apparently we lost our oil. It ran away. All right. I still got a cleaver. <laughs> okay, other things you can do to make Brussels sprouts extra delicious. My favorite is just a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason I'm chopping these Brussels sprouts in half is because it is awesome. Half. But it also helps to get them nice and brown. So when you cut the Brussels sprout in half, you're able to get all of your seasonings and your sauces deep inside the cabbage. And mm -hmm. that way, when you bake it up, it all crisps up nice and crispy mm -hmm. and golden brown as opposed to being a little soggy in the middle. Right. You can also add, and you don't want to do too much of it, but you can also add just a light, light, light little touch of sugar onto the uh, Brussels sprouts. You don't want the sweetness. What you want is the caramel caramelization. There you go, that's the word. Uh, to kind of help in getting that nice golden brown color and to give it a nice crisp coating. We 
Wait a minute. This isn't 45 minutes into the future. No, it's five minutes into the future. You see, you need to make sure the sprouts cook evenly. So, every five minutes, reach in, grab the tray, and give it a little... Give it a little shake to move those suckers around. My turn. Go ahead. Editing power, activate. Perfect timing. Okay, so now that the sprouts are done, check the color. You want them to be a nice dark brown. When you're sure they're done, sprinkle a little salt on top for flavor. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Now, eat the sprout. Yeah, <laughs> but I really don't have to. It's kind of eat the sprout. Mm -hmm. Fine. I guess I'll just have to eat the rest on my own. I can help you out a little bit if you really. No, that's cool. No, come on, man. You know you want. I'm to. serious. I will cut you. guys, hope you enjoyed this episode on Brussels sprouts with your special master's tips courtesies of Broke Eats. Mm -hmm. If you did, be sure to subscribe today. You don't want to miss what's coming up. Mm -mm. Just click that button. Also, check out BrokeEats.com. Share your recipes, check out other recipes. It's a great way to join the Broke Eats community, because let's be honest, we're all broke. So click subscribe today and let's all hang out at BrokeEats.com. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it. Please. Do it. It'd be cool. Do it. It'd be cool if you Do did. Do it. Subscribe. <laughs>